Vomiting is something that I really enjoy because um, you're always doing a f the, the property a favour. It's part of conservation to take control and to reduce numbers. It has to happen. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's got to happen. You know. Within the few days I was at Olive Woods, I had the opportunity to do quite a bit of vomiting. You know, sometimes you, you finish up with a hunt early and, and you've got some time on your hands, or perhaps you're even just driving and you, and you spot something that, something like a baboon that they constantly want to keep under control. And so on one occasion I was at the lodge right in, in front, I was enjoying looking over out, out in the field and, and we, we saw baboon come out into the open and it was ins instantly all systems go. He was about 450 meters away and, and as I took the shot I could actually see the, the um, bullet enter in the, the shoulder area of the baboon I could saw him jump up so I knew it was a good shot and it's good to get that down. Right, that is a baboon at uh, 455 meters. Baboons are huge pests in this area. They've been called the ultimate varmint. And so the moment you see them, you, it's all systems go. A lot of fun to take a shot like that. There's definitely varminting opportunities, I think, on any farm that you go to in South Africa. Um, being baboon, bush pig, uh, lynx, jackal, and the rest of it. You know, we do have pineapple farmers around with, with the bush pig uh, create havoc and within the dairy farms as well definitely climb into anything that they can. We also had an opportunity to go out and, and take a few shots at some Egyptian geese. The, the property right next door to, to Olive Woods, uh, they, you know, there's Egyptian geese that, that come in and eat all the feed that they put out for the cattle. We came out into the field and I had an opportunity to take Egyptian geese and spurring geese, which are very sought after game birds in South Africa and something that, you know, a foreigner would also want to tick off their list. So that was fantastic. Well, 260 Remington versus Egyptian Goose certainly does the job and it actually looks like his breast meat might still be intact which means that we can actually take this goose back and, and take the breast meat out and actually cook it later which is great. But that's, that's what we, we're doing here, some pest control as well, which is fantastic. One of the things Graham is very good at is jackal hunting. He's been doing it for a very long time. He's got a very good setup. When I went out there, it was one of the things I wanted to do. We, we spent a few hours actually driving around, around one night, calling the jackals in. And when you see a jackal coming in after you're calling it, it's, it's a real adrenaline rush. It's something that I think is very underrated. A lot of people see it as, as purely as pest control, but there's definitely an excitement aspect to it. And it was something that I, I thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, the jackal are definitely a big problem as far as the antelope species. As soon as the impala lamb, they run amok and they land up killing a hell of a lot of game. So they've got to be taken to task. Um, we've been doing quite a lot of jackal hunting on our farm. I myself have done quite a lot of calling. There's definitely opportunity if you guys want to come out and, and, and hunt and shoot the jackal to call a predator in is something else. And yeah, the opportunity is there for that to be done.